In this session of GPAD Kaksha, we will learn about Newton's law of flow. Uh, for understanding Newton's law of flow, we need to understand certain terminology. Rheology means the term rheology includes two kind of things. Means it, it describes deformation of solids and flow of liquid. Deformation of solids means, for example, you have a piece of a uh, elastic rubber and when you apply pressure on it and then after this pressure has been released you will realize that this uh, piece of rubber hasn't risen to the same height hasn't regained the, shape, uh, the same shape as it was in earlier some amount of loss of consistency is observed so and this is known as deformation of solid and uh, flow of liquids means it also describes flow of liquid means your uh, liquid flow will be like uh, uh, less uh, resistance or highly resistance uh, flow of liquid so the term uh, rheology describes deformation of solids as well as flow of liquids then viscosity is the resistance towards the flow of fluid uh, means if uh, a certain liquid, for example, take uh, example of water and honey. If you pour water on a table top, then it will flow rapidly throughout the surface of the table. But if you um, pour honey on the same table top, you will realize the rate of flow of honey will be very slow towards uh, through the table top. So what does it indicate? The viscosity of honey is higher as compared to water. So it can be inferred that, that the uh, layers of liquid which is, uh, an, which is less liable to flow offers more resistance to each other. So due to the resistance, uh, the flow of fluid is hindered and it flows less rapidly. So in case of honey, we can say that the layers of honey offers more resistance to each other. So flow of honey will be slow. Whereas in layers of water, we can say that the resistance between the water layer will be less. So the viscosity will be less and viscosity of honey will be high. Velocity is the change in an object's position with respect to frame of reference per unit time. So what is velocity change in an object's position with respect to frame of reference? Frame of reference means, you know, uh, we describe object in three dimension x, y and z. So a particular coordinate of that particular object x, y and z describes the frame of reference of that particular object. So if an uh, object moves from here to here, definitely this coordinates will get change. So the change in, is, uh, change in it object's position with respect to frame of reference per unit time means in uh, how much time this coordinates got change when object changes its position from x, y, z to say x1, y1 and Z1. So in changing the coordinates from X, Y, Z to X1, Y1, Z1, how much amount of time is required? So the ratio of that change in position and the time gives you the idea about the velocity means it is a vector quantity. Then rate of shear. Rate of shear is the change in velocity with respect to distance means the change in velocity with respect to distance is the rate of shear. Shearing stress is the force per unit area to initiate the flow. Means if you want a liquid to flow, so the force applied per unit area to make it flow, to initiate the flow, so the liquid can uh, start flowing, that particular force is known as shearing stress. So uh, imagine a liquid uh, block with different layers which are parallel to each other. If a shearing stress means at which flow of liquid is start, 
uh, if a shearing stress fs equals to f by a is applied on topmost layer it starts moving with velocity v the bottom layer is stationary the velocity of other layer is directly proportional to distance from stationary bottom layer the ratio of difference in velocity of two layers dv means this is the difference in the velocity of two layers separated by distance dx is the rate of shear we can uh, better understand it with the help of this diagram in this diagram it has been described that if a particular uh, particular shearing stress is applied so the top on the topmost layer of liquid this shearing stress is applied means the uh, force at which the liquid starts flowing so it starts with moving uh, velocity v and it is assumed that the lower layer of the block is stationary means it is not moving and the velocity of the respective layers these are the different layers so the velocity of respective layer is directly proportional to the distance from the stationary layer means this distance is zero so the velocity of a stationary layer is zero so uh, now as the distance increases from the stationary layer the velocity also increases say here the velocity is 5 then here the distance uh, again increases it becomes 10 then uh, let it be 15 like that and on the topmost the distance is maximum from the stationary layer so here highest velocity is observed so the ratio of uh, difference in velocity between any two layers that is dv divided by and the distance from the uh, distance between the two layers is known as shearing uh, rate of shear so um, velocity increases with increase in distance from the stationary bottom layer and the topmost layer will have highest velocity difference in the uh, velocity between any two layer is given by de dv and uh, its differentiation with respect to distance will give you rate of shear. Newton proposed that higher the viscosity of liquid, higher will be the shearing stress required to produce a certain rate of shear. It is quite obvious that if uh, the amount of force required to initiate a flow in honey for example will be higher as compared to the amount of force required to initiate the flow in water the following relation is justified for newton's uh, newtonian flow that shearing stress is directly proportional to the rate of shear as viscosity as a constant or we can describe it as fs as shearing stress and g is rate of shear if we plot a graph between shearing stress and rate of shear we get following graph the slope of graph gives viscosity eta uh, and unit of viscosity is poissodine poissodine sen second per centimeter square okay this is a si unit for viscosity poise is a si unit for viscosity and the reciprocal of viscosity is fluidity means 1 by eta is fluidity okay so this kind of graph is observed for in case of newtonian uh, fluids okay so uh, in this uh, graph as you can uh, observe that the shearing stress is directly proportional to the uh, rate of shear so a straight line has been observed and the slope of this graph means 10 theta okay 10 theta means perpendicular upon base this value okay so 10 theta gives you the uh, un uh, viscosity of that particular substance or particular fluid so so slope of newtonian graphs gives you viscosity and the inverse of viscosity is fluidity so i hope this is clear to you for practicing mcqs and to learn important one-liners follow gpad kaksha on instagram the link of same is given in description study well keep yourself motivated always keep smiling Stay tuned for next topic. Thanks a lot.